everybody. So we are making a alapana, which is a ham and mushroom sort of creamy pie. Thank you, Ollie. Reach out to come and say hello. Come and tell Ollie's still open. There you go, guys. Come to say hello mid video. Alapana, which is a ham and mushroom creamy pasta, and it is so good. The whole family will love it. And it's my favorite when you have like a headache and you just need a creamy pasta. It's gonna be great. All right, let's get into it. We're gonna start with one brown onion and this many garlics. One, two, three, four, five garlics. And when I say one garlic, it's like it's a big boy garlic. I am using this many. There's about six garlics there actually, but we're gonna use this much. If you want more, you can use more. We're gonna chop everything up really tiny. Push all that to the side. Now we're just going to crack all the garlics to get them out of their shell and we're just gonna chop them up or you can grate them or crush them. A bunch of button mushrooms. So we use, honestly, as many as you'd like. This will serve at least four people, but I like a lot of mushrooms and a lot of ham. So completely up to you if you wanna add more or less. But with mushrooms, you just need to give them a little bit of a wipe. You don't need to wash them or anything like that. You just need to make sure there's no like big bits of dirt and then you're good. I always like to pop the middle bit out just cause it's easier to cut with on the board. But again, up to you. So we're just gonna slice them. Really, really thin sort of easy sort of slices. Okay, now we have some ham. So I get double smoked or triple smoked or any of those like delicious sort of smoky hams. Then we pop it on the board. You can do it, you can layer it nicely, you can not. We're just gonna chop it up into squares, like sort of small, sort of bite sizing sort of squares. So I just make little big cuts along and then I'll go the opposite way. Now we have parsley, so we're gonna do half, we're gonna cut it all, we're gonna put half in now and then half on the top later. So we're just gonna chop it all up really, really small. That is all your chopping done, everything is literally done. We're gonna go over the pan, cook it, and then just wait and eat it. It's gonna be really, really quick. First, we need a really, really hot pan. I got gifted these pans from Our, Our Place, is the brand. So good, they're literally my favorite pan. I pull them out every single time. So a bit of olive oil drizzled in there, and then we're just gonna cook the onion really low and slow. So when we get the pan really, really hot, throw it in there, and then we're going to turn it down to a low sort of setting. Now that's halfway cooked, we're gonna chuck in the garlic and then half of the parsley. Mix that around and cook it for maybe like another couple of minutes. So mushrooms and ham going at the same time. We're gonna cook this for probably like 10 to 15 sort of minutes until this goes like nice and brown. Um, we're gonna add some salt and pepper in now too, so season all that. So we'll season all that. I don't add a lot of salt in now because the ham get quite salty, so we'll taste it again. All right, so see how you got that liquid at the bottom? We really want that all to be evaporated before we add any cream in, so we're just gonna wait a little bit longer. So look, there's no excess liquid at the bottom, so we're ready to put in the thickened cream. So we have 600 mils going in. Now we're gonna add a cup of stock. So I'm using beef stock because I didn't have anything else, so we're just gonna use a cup of stock. And that is where you'll get a little bit of that salt as well. So we just add salt in if you want extra, like right last minute. So we're gonna leave that to cook for a couple of minutes. Then we're gonna add some parmesan cheese in. So we're gonna go in with some linguine. We're gonna put it in the boiling water. We're gonna cook it about three quarters of the way through. And then after, when it's almost ready, we're gonna put it into that creamy sauce so it can soak up a little bit of that. But when I find linguine or any sort of pasta, I try and find one that's a little bit more rough because that will then get your pasta sauce to stick to it really, really well. So if you can find that at your shop, try and get that instead. We're gonna cook that three quarters of the way through. Right, while this is cooking, we've got half a cup of parmesan. I'm going to add a, basically three quarters of it in and then save that for when the pasta goes in. Okay, we're three quarters of the way cooked. We're going to literally going to drag it on over and straight into this one. And that way it's going to soak up all of that creamy juice and it's going to be perfect. On top of this, we're going to do the rest of the parsley, the rest of the parmesan. And then... We're gonna do a little bit of pepper. I've already tasted it, it doesn't need any more salt. So we're just gonna put a little bit of pepper and then we are literally good to go. And leave this in here for about five-ish minutes until that is soaked up and then we are good to go. Get this out, have a look. Oh my gosh, this is delicious. 
ready to go, literally ready to serve straight away. How nice. And everyone can add like a little bit of parmesan and stuff to their own plates. Yum. Just have like a big spoonful of this. When I was little, I used to, when mum was cooking the ham, I used to like steal all the ham and eat that when it was cooking because it was the best bit. Mm -hmm. That was perfect. Okay, so this recipe is going to be linked in the description below, but hopefully we're going to be here maybe like every single week with a new recipe and then hopefully we can build from there. So if you really like this, let me know. Comment, like, share, subscribe, you know, those vibes. Um, and I'll see you, fingers crossed, next week.